Hello students. Today I am going to start. Let us practice 5.4. Your page number 87. So open your books and copies and please note down all the sums. Okay. So our first question is compare the fractions by filling appropriate sign that is greater than less than or equal. Okay. So our first number is 1 by 5. In the box, we have to give greater than, less than, or equal. Okay. And next fraction is 1 by 9. Means 1 by 5 and 1 by 9. So, which one is greater, which one is smaller, or both are equal or not, we have to see. Okay. So, our fractions are 1 by 5 and 1 by 9. So, because you can see the numerators are same, but the denominators 5 and 9 both are different. So, in case if the denominators are different then what we have to do first we have to take the LCM of the denominators that is 5 and 9 okay so take the LCM of 5 and 9 so because there are no common factors between 5 and 9 so the LCM will be just 5 into 9 okay so 5 into 9 means 45 okay now our LCM is 45 now what we have to do we have to make this 45 as the denominators of both the fractions okay means now because the LCM is 45 so our denominator is 45 for both the fractions okay our denominator is now 45 for both the fraction means we have to make these denominators 45 so our first fraction is 1 by 5 1 by 5 so if we if I have to make uh, 45 then what we have to do I have to do multiply oh, isn't it how much I have to multiply with 5 to get 45 obviously how much 9 times isn't it 5 nines are 45 okay now if I'm multiplying 5 here again I have to multiply 9 in the numerator sections also okay whatever number you multiply the same number you have to multiply in the numerator section also now because the denominator is 45 so we also have to make this 5 as 45 so to make 5 as 45 I am multiplying 5 with 9 so 5 9s are 45 and 9 ones are 9 ok means we have to make the denominator same our second fraction is 1 by 9 1 by 9 and here also we have to make the denominator as 45 clear now because it is 9 to make it 45 we have to multiply it with 5 again same number we have to multiply in the numerator also now 9 5 is a 45 and 5 1 is a 5 clear now you can see that 1 by 5 and 1 by 9 it becomes 9 by 45 and 5 by 45 you can see the denominators are same 45 45 so if the denominators are same then we have to consider the numerator means in numerator which one is greater 9 is greater or 5 is greater you can see that obviously 9 is greater means 1 by 5 is the greater fraction and 1 by 9 is the smaller fraction listen one more time because the denominators are now same so we have to consider the numerator which one is greater 9 is greater means 1 by 5 is the greater fraction means <coughs> 1 by 5 is the greater fraction so 1 by 5 greater than 1 by 9 understood one number 2 so our fraction is 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 so which one is greater smaller or equal let's see now you can see like this one the denominators are same here isn't it it was 45 and 45 here also the denominators are same so when denominators are same then we have to consider the numerator means denominators are same so we have to consider which one is smaller or bigger in case of numerator okay so you can see 2 and here it is 5 so which one is greater obviously 5 is greater isn't it and the denominators are same because the 5 is greater so we have to put this sign here okay means 5 is greater than 2 
clear but now number 3 you can see 7 by 12 and here we have to put less than greater than or equal and 7 by 15 correct now you can see the denominators are not same different like this one the denominators are different here also denominators are different and I told you when the denominators are different in that case we have to take the LCM of the denominators so take the LCM of 12 and 15 and you will get 3 4 is a 12 3 5 is a 15 and there are no other common factors so stop it now multiply these numbers 3 into 4 into 5 when we multiply then it becomes 60 means now we have to make these denominators as 60 clear now our first fraction is 7 by 12 so 7 by 12 if I have to make 12 as a 60 means okay which number we have to multiply with 12 to get 60 we know that 12 5 za 12 5 za 60 so because I'm multiplying 5 here so again I have to multiply 5 here and 7 5 za 35 this one done second fraction was 7 by 15 so 7 by 15 so what number we have to multiply here to obtain 60 15 how much is 60 15 4 is 60 so we have to multiply 4 here also and 7 4 is how much 28 correct now you can see the denominators are same 60 60 but the numerators are different this one is 35 and this one is 28 which one is greater obviously 35 is greater so 7 by 12 fraction is the greater fraction okay 7 by 12 fraction is the greater fraction clear so in question number one i have done three sums okay rest of our everything are similar just check the denominator if the denominators are same then no need for this type of calculation just consider the numerator if the numerator is bigger then the fraction is bigger if the numerator is smaller means the fraction is smaller but in case the denominators are different here also different then you have to do the L, uh, calculation lcm and then after that this type of calculations you have to perform okay now let's move on to two number so the question says which one is the larger fraction same this type of question okay very similar so question number one that is 5 by 7 or 3 by 7 means we have to identify which one is larger 5 by 7 is larger or 3 by 7 is larger very easy you can see that denominator is 7 and 7 means both are same means we have to consider the numerator only so which one is bigger 5 is bigger isn't it 3 is smaller so our fraction is 5 by 7 is larger clear number 5 13 by 15 or 15 by 17 so in out of these two fractions which one is larger we have to identify now see the denominators are different means what we have to do we have to calculate the LCM also so LCM of 15 and 17 is because there are no common factors so we have to multiply and 15 into 17 is 255 means our LCM is 255 so because our LCM is 255 means our denominator is also 255 correct means we have to make all the denominators as 255 now our first fraction is 13 by 15 so I am putting 13 by 15 so what number we have to multiply with 15 to obtain 255 you can see here if we multiply 17 with 15 then it becomes 255 means we have to multiply 17 now if we multiply 17 here means again we have to multiply 17 here so 13 into 17 how much 13 into 17 means 221 clear next fraction is 15 by 17 15 by 17 so what number we have to multiply with 17 to obtain 255 obviously if we see here then we have to multiply 15 so 17 into 15 it becomes 255 so because I am multiplying 15 again I have to multiply here 15 so 15 into 15 how much 15 into 15 means 225 now you can see the denominators are same 255 255 means we have to consider the numerator so which one is bigger 221 is bigger 
or 225 is bigger obviously 225 is bigger means which fraction is bigger 15 by 17 15 by 17 fraction is the larger or bigger okay so our larger fraction is 15 divided by 17 clear question number three is compare first number is 2 by 5 and 5 by 7 compare means again same all the sums are same here means we have to compare which one is bigger and which one is smaller okay i already told you how to solve it which one is bigger which one is smaller like this one which one is bigger which one is smaller here also which one is bigger which one is smaller or equal isn't it so same three number is also same like this okay so solve it with the same process next number four arrange the following in ascending order okay so we have some fractions and we have to arrange these fractions in ascending order means from smaller to larger or bigger okay now you can see in all these fractions the denominators are different and i told you when the denominators are different means we have to take the lcm okay so take the lcm of 3 7 21 and 14 you can see this is the lcm of 3 7 21 and 14 and after calculating the LCM, you will find that the LCM is 42. Okay. So, because the LCM is 42 means what? Means we have to make the denominator as 42. So, you can see here. So, our first fraction was 2 by 3. So, I am putting here 2 by 3. And because we have to make the denominator as 42. So, how much we have to multiply with the 3? We have to multiply 14 because 3 14s are 42. And because I am multiplying 14 here, again we have to multiply 14 in the numerator also. And 14 twos are 28. Clear? Next fraction is 4 by 7. 4 by 7. So, uh, we have to make the denominator as 42. So, how much we have to multiply? 7, 6 times. Means 6 we have to multiply. 7, 6 are 42. And 4, 6 are 24. Next fraction is 8 by 21. 8 by 21. How much we have to multiply to make 42? 8, 21, 2 is 42. Again, 8, 2 is 16. Next fraction, 5 by 14. So, 5 by 14, how much we have to multiply to make 42? 3. 14, 3 is 42. And 5, 3 is 15. Now, you can see this one is 15, 16, 24 and 28. Because we have to arrange the following fractions in ascending order. So, you can see this fraction means 5 by 14 fraction is the smallest next 8 by 21 because it is 16 next 4 by 17 because it is 24 and last 2 by 3 because it is 28 by 42 here the denominators are same but the numerators are different means we have to consider the numerator it is the biggest one then 24 then 16 then 15 because we have to arrange in ascending order so our order is 5 by 14 it is the smallest next 8 by 21 it is the second smallest next 20, uh, 7 by 4 and the largest is 2 by 3 okay so this is how you have to solve and rest of our homework okay